There is no easier way to pass your CPCs than go into my home channel, picking a membership. I'll send you the scenarios, the questions, the answers, all the cahoots so you can practice in your own time, on your mobile phone or on your laptop. I'm Leon Clifton, this is ADR Training. CPC Truck Scenario 1, Test 1. This is Gavin. Gavin the Less. Gavin's daily rest period. So it's not even specific to the story, but we're just using the story to raise questions. Let's be question one. What's the daily rest period? 11 hours. Yeah. Good. That whoever said nine need to go back and remember I put that rests and breaks into the WhatsApp group? Yeah. Be very, very familiar with that. Not just for your exams, not just for this course, but that is the kind of information you need to know. How much of a gap should you leave from the vehicle in front if it's raining? What is the speed limit for a truck driver on a motorway? Oh shit, I don't just edit that out later. <laughs> what is the speed limit for a truck driving on a motorway? Oh, it's 90, so yeah. Yeah, 90. Kilometers an hour. Now, you're not going to get a trick question. Like, I'm trying to trip you up, right? Miles per hour, kilometers per hour. I'm just trying to trip you up to make it a bit more fun and to jam it in your brain. But when you actually do the exam, they're not going to do that to you. Do you know what I mean? It'd probably be like 80, 60, and 120. The, obvious, the answer would be obvious to you. But why should I make your life easy? What's the average working week over a 17 week period? When they split the year up, what's your average working week? You can work a maximum of 60 hours in a week, we know that. But what's your average Whoa. working week? Pat, if you say 56, I'm going to kill you. Ah, oh, well done, team. 100% <laughs> correct. <laughs> All right. How might you calculate your safety distance from the car in front of you? Four second rule is for the rain when it's wet. What type of route was Gavin driving? He, he was delivered to Cork. Do you think you're in a different country down there in Cork, do you? <laughs> <laughs> which, which two of you think that you live in the independent republic state of Cork? You know, so I'm just surprised only two of you think you're an independent country. <laughs> How many times can a truck driver reduce his daily resting hours? Rory ran riot driving drunk. R, 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 three rest, D, D, two driving. Or reduce your regular rest. R, 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 reduce your regular rest. Okay? Yeah. Let's not I can't get a diamond doors in my head. <laughs> that, that'd do you for the driving. <laughs> what is the reduced week? I'd say you often never in your head anyway. What is the reduced <laughs> weekly rest period? <laughs> nine hours what is the reduced weekly rest period mm -hmm. you need to read the questions okay what is the maximum distance you can park from the curb don't think i told you this it's centimeters remember the uk put the triangle behind their vehicle but it's in in centimeters not meters Yes, well done. 45 centimetres from the kerb, and the UK put the warning triangle 45 metres behind the vehicle. What is the maximum you can work on a day shift? <laughs> 15 hours on a day shift, lads. Maximum of 10 hours on a night shift. I don't know why you answered that one, to be quite honest. 
maximum hours Gavin can drive in one day? Oh, um... Four and a half, four to five minute break, four and a half, and then if you want to extend your driving, four to five minute break, one hour, yeah? So the most you can drive in a day is 10 hours, lads. Read the question. It's not what's your average working, blah, blah, blah. What is the maximum hours you can drive in a day? What is the minimum recommended time for a walk around? The RSA recommend what? Fifteen on the day. What's the minimum reduced daily rest? What's your shortest daily rest? Nine hours. Nine. Nine away from twenty-four. Because if twenty-four hours in a day is fifteen, isn't it? So fifteen is the most hours you can work during the day, hmm. and ten hours at night on the night shift. The night shift for truck workers is twelve till four. How do you correctly load a truck? Lovely. Tight to the bulkhead, otherwise stuff goes sliding forwards and collapses, yeah? Mm -hmm. Evenly, because you want to spread the weight. No gaps, because that's when the pallets collapse into the one in front. And you don't overload the individual axles, i.e. you pick up a 10 ton piece of marble. You're not going to have that tight to the bulkhead, because in that case, you would overload the front axle, yeah? So it's tight to the bulkhead evenly no spaces but you don't overload the individual axles so in that case you put the that weight in the middle of the truck you spread the weight between the axles hmm. and security but so it's tight to the bulkhead uh tight to the bulkhead no gaps evenly heavy stuff on the bottom or whatever and securely and don't hmm. overload the individual axles or the gvw a solid white line means what <sighs> okay, these two have got to stop drinking or smoking, whatever, smoking before class. What is the force working on an object to make it continue in it on its present course? We discussed the forces yesterday, remember? than Gavin's maximum driving hours in a fortnight. Okay, guys, that's a basic question. You need to know that, right? I don't want to see you getting these questions wrong because that's just like the low fruit. They're the easy marks you don't even need to think about. 56 hours driving in a week, 90 in a two-week period, or a fortnight. Fortnight means two weeks. I know English isn't the uh, first language of some of the people in this class. Fortnight means two weeks. When can you cross a, excuse me, when can you cross a broken white line? How long can Gavin drive before taking a break? Okay. 
what is the force that pulls you sideways? Gravity holds you on the ground, doesn't it? It doesn't pull you sideways. Vehicle, anything Whoa. you bring onto the vehicle is the load and your fuel. Want you to drive without a valid CVRT? What is the force that keeps the vehicle moving? Inertia is a resistance. I suppose in a way you're kind of right, yeah, because it's a resistance to change its current state. So if it's moving, it's a resistance to stopping. But no, momentum is what keeps you moving on your current path. Who is responsible for the load of the truck? Okay. <laughs> a door is so definite, but there was no mention of hubcaps, was there? And no. hubcaps are not part of your walk around, are they? No. We'll get into that in more detail later. Loads and tyre pressure. We well, would look at your tyres and load. But that's, that's not bad. There's no mention of tyre pressure, was there? No. no. Can't remember that. Okay. But you're not going to get that specific question anyway. What should you plan for on a long route? Can you plan for a cyclist and lollipop person? <gasps> School warm. See, it's lollipop person, so it's not sexist or misogynistic. Animal crossings. <laughs> I don't know how you plan for an animal crossing. Traffic, yeah. Fuel, yeah. Ferries, definitely, if you need them. Pedestrians. Can you plan for pedestrians and roundabouts? How would you know where the checkpoint is? I suppose there is a page on the guard thing, isn't there? Why why would you plan for roundabouts? What, what's upsetting you so much about roundabouts? <laughs> <laughs> and how can you possibly plan for pedestrians? Hey, hey Leo, we've got an answer, answer to the roundabout one. To what? The, the, the roundabout. Yeah. You, you know the, the swinging one, one, the spider, spider one. one. Okay. We get to, we're just you know going to get back to that in a second, all right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, because we're just recording this one. When does the night shift start for truck drivers? Again, this is something you need to know through all of your career. 12 till 4. What is the regular weekly rest period? This is another question I consider to be basic. Your regular weekly rest period. Can Gavin take his daily rest in his vehicle? What is the correct procedure when turning? Check vehicle's cameras, mirror's signal, mirror signal overtake, mirror signal mirror manoeuvre. Actually, none of them are correct, because I think, what have I forgotten there? What have I forgotten there? In mirror the signal mirror. Uh, what? In the Blind spot. Blind spot. Blind spot. 
can Gavin take his weekly rest in his vehicle? Once a month, a reduced 24 hour rest if the truck has a sleeping facility. No, if in a different country. What is Gavin's weekly rest period? If you got that wrong, or you got it wrong again, write it down. The act of writing it down will make it stick in your mind. Because you're using your brain, your eyes, your muscles, and then you're feeding it back through your eyes into your brain. If, you, if you're having trouble learning something, don't just keep trying to memorize it the same way. Physically write it down. How many digital tachygraph printer rolls does a driver need to have in the cab? Okay. R28, that makes no sense. So talk about printer rolls. There's no, there's no the printer rolls on the digital stuff. On the digital, of course there is, yeah. A box, that doesn't make sense. One doesn't make sense. See, the common misconception is you must have three rolls in the cab, and that's yeah, fine. Cool. Three rolls is fine, but that's like an old wives' tale. Wow. All you legally need is enough to produce a printout inspection if you're asked to do so by a guard, a roadside inspection, <laughs> and for the journey ahead. Like one roll lasts you months and months, yeah. But if you want to keep three rolls in the cab, I think that's a good habit to have. Yeah. When should you insert the tachygraph card into the vehicle? What is the speed limit for a truck driver on a national road? What is Gavin's maximum driving hours in a week? We had this question earlier in this quiz. Most you can drive in a week. you can work not drive that's drive that would be the correct answer only not to this question work 60 hours okay well done everybody thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel and like and subscribing to my channel helps other people like you find them i'm leon clifton